Hey guys, Pablo with Broken Not Dead Reddit, and today we're gonna be taking a look on another side of Reddit. We're gonna be taking a look on the side of Reddit that make us realize that today I f***ed up. And now with our post. Today I f***ed up by trying to buy an instant pot at Target and probably ending up on a terrorist watch list. This started yesterday, but I didn't realize my FU until today. Yesterday, I stumbled on a price mistake for the 6 quarter instant pot at Target. They're ringing up at $10 a piece instead of $80. I decided I would get some Christmas shopping done early and flip a few. I ordered 10 for in-store pickup and 10 for delivery, in case the order got cancelled. Well, the delivery order was cancelled, but I got an email that the store pickup was ready. I go to Target and give them my ID. They look it up and can't find it at first. I give them the order number and I hear one guy say to the other something about it being cancelled and they're both give me odd looks. The one says he has to let the manager know I'm there, so they radio over and the manager says it was cancelled because of the price mistake. Seems a little odd that they needed a manager over the radio, just for that, but I didn't think much of it. Fast forward to a little earlier this afternoon, the doorbell rings and my wife comes and tells me there are two guys at the door asking for me. I step outside and they identify themselves as detectives from the state police counterterrorism unit. And they start questioning me about why I'm trying to buy 10 pressure cookers and if I know what they can be used for, if I'm making bombs and so on. They even have a picture of my car from the Target parking lot. I did my best to explain the price mistake and how I found it, etc. I think they accepted my explanation, but I'm still nervous that I'm on a watch list now. The LDR tried to take advantage of a price mistake and buy 10 instant pots at Target, got interrogated by state police counterterrorism unit why I was buying 10 pressure cookers that could be used to make bombs. Edit. Here's the investigator's card since so many people seem to be doubting my story. I covered up personal info so I don't dox him or myself. Today I f up by accidentally getting sexual with my dentist again. I'm a 32 year old woman who can never go back to my new dentist after two visits because I'm an idiot. My dentist is a very nice and professional man. Our first appointment was going pretty smooth until he made some innocuous remark about us being strangers. My immediate reply was, oh, we're not strangers. You've been in the inside of my mouth for 20 minutes. I did not intend to make a sexual joke. His face turned red and he was clearly embarrassed, but he continued on like a true professional and we were probably both relieved when the appointment was over. I had my second dentist appointment today. I actually mentally prepared myself to be a model patient who didn't say anything weird, thank you very much. He had been working my mouth for about 5 minutes when he started to seem really uncomfortable or something. His face was red and he was breathing a little heavier. I was a bit concerned and I was confused. Like, how could I have embarrassed him this time? I had hardly spoke, so he keeps working in there, then I realize what the hell is happening. My dentist was wearing grape flavored gloves. I had been absentmindedly licking his fingers the whole time. Never going back. The LDR, today I effed up by licking my dentist. Today I f***ed up by reporting a pervert to the school my son goes to. Over the course of the last week, my twin 7 years old son started telling me about a creepy man who sat in the parking lot at the school and stared at them. This morning, I finally took the initiative and called the school. They assured me that the situation would be handled. Now, here's how stupid I apparently am. I've been doing electrical repairs on a facility near my son's school, and each day, I park my work van in the school parking lot to eat lunch and use the Wi-Fi. I wave to my sons as they go from one building to the building housing the cafeteria for lunch. If you're realizing that I'm the pervert I reported, congratulations, you're officially sharper than me. Didn't realize it until three police cars surrounded my work van. As it turns out, 
Between my work van they'd never see me in, my hard hat, and my sunglasses, the boys never realized it was me. After about a 30 minute conversation with the police and the principal, they decided I was a harmless moron and decided to let me go. I was, however, asked not to park my van there for lunch anymore. TLDR called the school over pervert. Watching my sons, turns out it was me the whole time, was nearly arrested. Today I f***ed up by telling my girlfriend to go right. I finally get to post a f*** up. Happened an hour ago, still afraid for my life. My girlfriend and I were playing Mario Party 7 for the first time ever. Awful game by the way. Anyways, as most of you probably know, you can pick what direction your character travels around the map. The girlfriend in third place with nearly a hundred coins is making her way around the map. The star was right in front of her at the crossroad. As she approached the crossroad to pick up the star, I sarcastically suggest her to go right, which she immediately did. I have never seen anyone so angry in my life, and I've worked both as nightclub security and loss prevention in my time, nor have I ever been so afraid. She ended that game with zero stars. I'll kill you in your sleep she stated. The rest of the game was spent in dread. It's now 3 a.m. and I'm hiding in the bathroom typing this while she makes serial killer noises. Goodbye. The LDR, Mario Party 7 is a terrible game. Today I f***ed up by getting my ex-girlfriend's new boyfriend's car. So this actually happened about a week and a half ago. Some pre-knowledge, I dated my next door neighbor for about a year and a half, but then we eventually broke up. So the other day I was really hungry and wanted some Panda Express orange chicken. I texted my friend to see if he wanted to go get some panda with me and he replied sure but that he wanted to drive cause he had gotten a new car and wanted to surprise me with it. I was like, alright, sounds good brother, see you in a bit. A couple of minutes later a car rolls up in front of my house. So naturally I went out and got in thinking it was my friend. I got in and buckled and was ready to go when the driver looked at over and said, uh, you're not my girlfriend. Quickly, I looked up and realized, oh god, I'm in my ex-girlfriend's new boyfriend's car. I started to unbuckle and get out. I opened the door and heard the thunk. Now, I'm thinking to myself, oh god, I just hit the door against the curb. But when I looked up, it turns out I actually hit my ex-girlfriend with the door. Quickly, I apologized, got out and waited for my friend inside my house. I got in my ex-girlfriend's new boyfriend's car thinking it was my friend. Then when I got out, I hit her with the door. Oh god, sometimes you can't get anything right, man. Today I f***ed up by ordering food online and essentially setting the restaurant on fire with the help of the B-movie script. Ok guys, gonna make it short. This happened like a year ago, but I just remembered it and wanted to share. It was around noon, I was feeling hungry, so I headed to my country's version of Uber Eats to order some nice lunch. Found the food I liked, proceeded to check out and noticed that the box where you can leave some message for the restaurant had no limit for characters. So I got an idea to prank the restaurant by copy-pasting the entire B-movie script there, so it will get printed on the receipt. That's where the F you happened. Few minutes after I sent the order, got message it was cancelled. Ok, no big deal, might happen. So I wanted to order some food somewhere else. When I noticed some blackish smoke in the distance, it wasn't that far away, but I was studying and didn't want to leave my spot in the library. Well, shortly after, like two fire trucks passed by, heading to the restaurant's direction. P.S. I was on the ground floor, the wall was made of glass, so we could easily see the street. The next day I read the local newspapers that the exact restaurant caught fire because some cash register malfunctioned. TLDR ordered food online and set restaurant on fire by pasting B-move script into the order note box. Have to add it here. Thank you for those shiny medals guys gals. Made my day. Heart emoji. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment and a like, and I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow for new Reddit videos. I hope you guys have a good day, a good holiday, and enjoy.